I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna scale shot in the fire fang. Cause I, I want them to try and shell smash on me. That's what I would do if I were them. I'd try and shell smash on me. I cannot believe that Garchomp and Heatran are currently UU. Look at my team. This could easily pass for an OU team. I got Garg here too. What is going on? Anyway, what do you guys think about the new UU tier? We're about to play some games today. If you missed my thoughts on all the UU drops, check out my previous video. I uploaded pretty late last night, but... Yeah, my opponent has a team, but let me tell you something. I have a Rotom, and Rotom looks phenomenal here. Also, Garchomp looks insane. Right, it looks with the loaded dice. Ooh, it looks kind of nasty. Kind of wish I was Terra Water Guard, but let's start off with Rotom just because it's so good versus my opponent's team. Now, they lead off with Pelipper. Now, this is the most telegraphed either Ludicolo or Thunderous of my life. Which one do I want to predict coming in? That is the question. I'm going to Hydro Pump. They should go Ludicolo first, I think, but just in case they want to be a little bit aggressive and try and block the Volt Switch... I'm going to make this play. Uh, doesn't really work out for me because I miss anyway. Obviously, Volt Switch would have been better there. Rotom is phenomenal versus their team too. And unfortunately, Ludicolo can't calm mine, can't dance, can't quiver dance. That leak was fake. I'm going to tell you straight up how mad I was about the fake quiver dance leak. Really mad. I'm going to sack Heatran here because they have uh, a rain team. Um, if you guys didn't know, every single one on that team can hit it for super effective damage. It's actually pretty scary <laughs> when you think about it. Um, and trying to figure out how I want to deal with this Pokemon because it definitely is a giant threat to me. I could Terra uh, with my Garchomp and go for the Scale Shot, but I kind of think that might be better in the end game. I also think that Garg has a lot of potential if I end up terrestrializing it too. Uh, they could also be modest. I'm going to scout for that first because if they are modest and not timid, I can knock them out with Brave Bird here. And if they are timid, then so be it. I get knocked out. But again, if they're modest, I KO them with Scarf Brave Bird and their team's Flying Resist isn't really that great. Like this Pokemon is not a great resist just barely barely missed out on the ko right there so not too bad for me um i feel like this is a roll but i also feel like them switching out means that they do not i'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for this Ugh, i did absolutely nothing there they do end up going for nasty plot though probably expecting me to switch out maybe into garg or garchomp here so we'll be able to pick up another ko on this giant threat of course they do have another giant threat called the Basque legion however we should be okay versus this. I actually, again, I really do think that Garg is not terrible here. Because it does wall this with, uh, once it's iron defenses up. Uh, which I think would be pretty nice. And it actually walls the majority of this team once iron defenses up. So, I think I'm going to end up sacking my Mana Buzz here. Even though Fizz Death Mana Buzz is not bad either. They end up flip turning though, so this is not a sack. Uh, so I'll just add a Crawdaunt now instead. That's really nice. Maybe I'll be faster so I can get off some foul play damage before going down. That way I can uh, open up this Mon winning. Uh, will you turn here as they go for weather ball does end up knocking me out however however we we'll take advantage one more time of their lack of brave bird switchings and we're just gonna go for it because again we're gonna go for that late game garchomp sweep and rotom kind of just walls everything why is this doing little to no damage to everything i'm actually gonna try and pick up this ko here uh not here but that's more of the damage i'm talking about but i'm, I'm gonna try and like weaken it waste rain turns uh, i do think that i can go out into rotom now though specifically as they do end up going Scizor, perfect turn for me. We can go for a Will-O-Wisp here. Awesome, that can't late game knock me out or anything. Unfortunate crit there, but I can waste some more rain turns from Ludicolo. And attempt to outplay it, really. Just attempt to outplay it, because Brave Bird's still super strong versus my opponent's team. Interesting that they ended up going Basket. Are they just going to Terra and Wave Crash? I feel like they should have went Ludicolo first. <laughs> I feel like Ludicolo would have been a lot better, because you would have actually threatened me with Giga Drain, and now you're letting me bring out my zapdos and just letting me go for attacks versus you so we're actually going to u-turn i expect them to go scissor exactly and now we can proceed to start setting up garg in front of the scissor uh, just iron defense up that's not going to do anything at all that will allow me to take on both crowd on that we'll go for a salt here here just in case they want to try and bring out pelipper here and uh yeah just get some big damage on that and i think just start going for the game they want to roost that's fine they actually go hard into ludicolo which is definitely something that doesn't ko me in one hit i'll go for body press here oh my god this is gonna hurt though yeah but i'm a garg at the end of the day so they did give it they did give us their terra uh so i'm actually looking like garchomp is gonna be picking up the last few ko's crowd is definitely gonna come out and pick up a ko here though i'll recover just in case for some reason they go for uh, for some reason it misses right basically that's why i was going for that 
Bring out you. Gonna bring out you and just protect just to waste some more rain turns, but also get back some extra leftovers and whatnot. This is actually even better for me because not only am I getting this leftovers, but I'm gonna be able to get some hydro pump damage off on Scizor. And they went for the move that actually doesn't give them anything back. So they go down there and then look look at Rotom 1v1 and UU. Haven't even used Garchomp yet. Let me go ahead and protect here. They head smash. It's time, baby. Scale shot. I know it's gonna miss. I, I, I said it's time. I hyped up Garchomp too much already. But scale shot time. Let's go. They're gonna end up bringing out Basque Legion. Now, Basque Legion will be faster than me, so I'm actually gonna switch out versus that and sack Zapdos. Uh, and then use Rotom's Volt Switch to kind of win because as long as Crawdon is around, we're good to go. That yeah, should be good. We hit this hit no matter what, and this is perfect because now, I mean, they die there. But now I can bring out Garchomp. Probably go down to a banded wave crash, I would I would assume, but this is gonna do enough damage with the uh maybe I don't because I'm a Garchomp. No 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 that's a Basque Legion. Power creep has uh has gone too far. That is a Basque Legion. Just in case they crit me. I don't think they can kill me even if they crit me. Uh but just in case, we might as well go for a protect here and we get our first win. Uh Garchomp wasn't doing too much. Wasn't doing too much in this first game, but that's crazy that we're fighting like that that we're using these Pokemon in UU. This team will be on my website, by the way, pokegames.com. If you guys want it, the link is down below. And if you aren't already subbed to the channel, I'm like 4,000 subs, less than that, away from 400k, which is pretty awesome. That is a team. All right, that's definitely dual screens. That's super dual screens. Oh, crap. Uh, Luckily, I do have foul play on Mandibuzz, which should hopefully help me out here. Did I go for the rocks early? I'm going to bring out Heatran. Because I'm assuming this is going to be a, uh, well, not the lead I expected. Also, not like the greatest for me because I don't want to get earth powered here. I ended up just going right for Calm Mind, which is really sad because I'm actually insanely weak to this Pokemon. I'm very weak to this Pokemon. Are you weakness policy? They're going to end up going for the Earth Power here, but I can get Chip on them and then knock them out with Zapdos after. Do I do that or do I end up missing by doing that and then SD up with this and try and win with scale shot? I don't know if that's actually a, a way to win this game. Just ignore him and just get up rocks. Alright, they expect me to Terra. Well, this worked out for me. I actually got everything out of this turn that I wanted. They just go for Draining Kiss too. Uh, I'm gonna go for another. I don't care about taunting them. Yeah, good. Perfect. If they end up terrestrializing here into a ground, uh, into a steel type, I'll just Garchomp them after. So this was like, that was like best case scenario. That Mon kind of 6 0 me and Heatran was really bad into their team. So besides like maybe taking facades from Ursaluna. Uh, but they seem extremely weak to, to Garg. So we're going to go Garg. Uh, I'm going to Iron Defense once. We'll see if they even taunt. They might just end up going for Party Shot. That's fine though. We'll Salt here here. We should be able to stop anything from going like from happening here just because of Salt here, right? And it's crazy. I don't even need my attack. My attack stat does not matter at all. I just need this. And then we do have Amanda Buzz right for you. I'm trying to think, is this even worth knocking them out? Because I'm, am I going to lose to Quavo after doing this? Yeah, I have to foul play. I'll take the scale shot though. Probably loaded dice as well. Get the defense drop, and obviously, I mean, they're plus two. This should definitely KO. I don't care if you're a Garchomp. This is definitely KO. Perfect. Quavo does not kill me from this position, uh, but I am worried about it. Luckily, they went Torn first. Let's see if we can get a Roost off. Mm, Defog. Garg will eat a hit no matter what. I'll just get some foul play chip. And they're trying to predict my Garg, but, like, I'm not switching. I'm not. I'm not. Maybe I do need the Defog, but I feel like I don't. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect. We're just trying to get some chip on them. That way I can knock them out with Zapdos. And Torn showing exactly why setup Torn is not the greatest Torn in the world. That dude managed to miss. It didn't it didn't end up critting in the end, which I mean I think is justice. Like it, it it's fine that it ended up critting there. Uh they might be Terra Fight, but Brave Bird's still my best play. I have Rotom for that. I have Garg to beat Quavo, right? I, I literally just Terra and Iron Defense in front of that. I wonder if Garchomp is even that great right now. On you. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. And it's probably just the teams I'm fighting as well. Okay. 
We go this. Definitely light screen. If they want to taunt, that's fine too. I'm gonna Volt Switch just in case they want to taunt. Maybe they'll go out to Ursaluna to be honest. But I can see them going Quavo as well. But Ursaluna makes sense just because of what I just did. Um, is this Treblaze? <laughs> Help. If this is Treblaze, it's a problem. That is 17. If this is legitimately Trailblaze, it is a problem. I mean, they shouldn't be able to kill me still. As long as it's not Trailblaze. If it is, like I said, I get smashed. But we'll waste another turn of screens. And then we'll, uh, we'll force a Terra as well. I'm trying to think, because they're definitely going to Earthquake me. An Iron Defense. Let's see if we can Terra an Iron Defense in front of this. I am a Garg at the end of the day, right? They are faster though. They do drain. Okay, perfect. They click the absolute wrong move there. The absolute wrong move. So I'm I'm good. I'm straight up. I shouldn't. I mean, provided I don't get crit, I think I win this one v one. I'm pretty positive. Provided I don't get crit, I think I win this one v one. Also, I'm not sure what their last move is. Oh yeah, that's definitely an L for them. At this point, and they and yeah, it's over. It is Jover. That is Garg. <laughs> this might be a Garg video. I already got Garchomp on the... Let me just hit him with the body press too. I don't even got to think. I mean, they could Terra into a resist, but that doesn't matter anyway when it comes to how much this... This is 891 defense. Get out of there. What you doing? What you trying to kill me with? Aqua stuff? <laughs> that, that, that did 19. Dude. <laughs> hey, look at this mod doing what it doesn't owe you. Garganachi. What you got for this, bud? Ah, there's a Terra Fairy that probably should happen before. If I'm being completely honest, Terra Fairy definitely should happen before. But we get the salt cure going, and then we just uh, we just spam body press that way they don't get enough recovery. So shout out to Garganachi in another game coming through. We're gonna pause it. We'll be right back. All right, I'm loving. This is legitimately a Garchomp game. I tear a fire in front of Rotom as well. That way I can't get Will O Wisp. So this will be a fun one. This will be a fun one. I love Heatran's getting up. I, I love Heatran's ability to get up rocks in this game. I think it's necessary for me to win this game. <laughs> yeah, I. I I wish I was kind of flash fire. He, I mean, a flame body Heatran in this game, though. But I like Heatran's rocks in this game a lot. They end up bleeding off of Rotom. Let me show you exactly how, how Rotom loses to Heatran 1v1. Yep. Lost to me 1v1. Because I got a Brox, and that's a, that's, a, that's a mental L. Also, this is a Pokemon they don't switch in very well on. Like, yeah, they have Meowskarada. But that's fine, because I have probably one of the best Meowskarada switches. Even if they knock me, that's fine, too. Why don't we get some... Is that Bandit? That did 20%. Maybe that's just Scarf. I don't know, I'm Fizdef, but it is Protean at the end of the day. Oh, uh, giant threat alert. We'll go Rotom and burn them. DSD up. Unless you max speed on faster. You have Facade. Ooh. Trying to think what I want to do here. Because they're going to end up Drain Punching, right? I don't want to do it with Garchomp, but I might have to do it with Garchomp, man. I will sack you. Maybe they'll SD again. They drain punch. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to 1v1 their team now with Garg. <laughs> yeah, that was a good Thunder Punch, fam. Let me get this defense raised, though. If they end up switching, that's fine, too. As long as I don't lose to this Mon, basically. Um, and again, their entire team is really weak into this. Yeah, Steel Beam? Sorry, that was, that was not going to be enough to deal with me. Unfortunately for them, go for assault carriage in case they switch. They did crit me, so I guess, you know, misses whatever. I definitely, if it's Scarf Meowskarada, it doesn't KO me. I'm pretty positive. Rotom definitely doesn't KO me because I'm Spadef as well. Again, with Iron Hands burnt, I should be good. Is, is Garchomp going to come out this episode? Find out. We're 14 minutes in and he has not done anything yet. <laughs> Garchomp? You good, bud? Don't tell me the UU power creep is too whack for you too, bro. It's crazy because like Scale Shot in theory does sweep this team, right? But I don't know, man. You ain't no backscalibur. You ain't no backscalibur. All right, we'll, we'll pause until they pick a move. We'll be right back. I'm almost positive this thing was uh, Scarf. Uh, it can't kill me with Scarf Flower Trip, but I'm going to go Mandibuzz just in case they uh, trick. Oh, uh, they Terra Grass, so they actually would have been able to kill me there. Okay, so fair. Run comes out. That's a free recover because of max special defense. And then we just start we just start salt curing everything up. There ain't nothing they can do. They can go Ursa Luna. That does not beat me 1v1, my friend. 
Oh, let me get some uh, let me get some cures going first. I'll go for one more. I mean, I guess if they crit me immediately, I'm screwed. But at this point, at this point, nothing on their team beats. Oh my god, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Goat players for me to go out into Zap, into Rotom right here on Earthquake because they could crit me that turn. But then I would have to hit Hydro Pump. And, and landing Hydro Pump is... Uh, well, it's a higher chance to miss Hydro than anything else. So, oh, let me, let me, you want me to switch out again? You want to do this again? <laughs> All right, I'm going to roost this time. That way I don't lose in that late game. Just having fun. I will just go Rotom, even though it beats Talonflame, because everything beats Talonflame on this team. What you going for? Protect? We'll Volt Switch here or whatever's coming in. Oh, I hope it's Iron Hands. Give me Iron Hands. Give me Iron Hands. No! Person had a lot of points. How many points is that? Damn, you're top 20. You were. All right, we're going to get another game. Shout out to Agency, by the way, for this team. It's going to be on my website. I'm not shouting out Blunder. But I'm like literally shouting out Agency is their name. Okay, okay, okay. I like this Garchomp matchup. It's not bad. But also, like, it's really easy to win with Garg in this game, too, I feel. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I'll probably just focus on the wrong thing, but... Also, I gotta be careful not to lose to this Mon. It's actually really good into me. I'm expecting them to lead off with Sandy Shocks, which is why I want to lead Rotom and try and... Uh, well, this is not the lead I expected, but I'm gonna go for Willowis because it's really good into their team. Uh, even if they go Sandy Shocks. If Weavile's burnt, then I don't have to Tarot with um, my Garchomp to do anything, right? So, yeah, there's Sandy Shocks. Good land. I'm gonna land Hydro as well, so we pick up the KO. Good job. Hey, that burn actually matters, so I only had to land one Hydro, one Wisp. All right, Giant Threat Alert, by the way, is about to come out. I'm going to go for the Willow. I don't need this Mon to win, so that's why I want a Willow Lilligant. If Lilligant Terra fires here, it's over. Nah, I have, I have Mana Buzz to eat a hit. I hope so. I hope. If they Terra fire on Willow, it's, it's over. Like, Mana Buzz also has Overcoat, so it doesn't have to worry about Sleep Powder. I should go Mana Buzz, but I don't have Brave Bird. I'm talking about in the case that they Terra and then they lose their resistances. Like, Foul Play would do a lot if it boosts enough, but... Oh my god, Rotom, you go. And you landed too. What a... What a goat. Alright. We're gonna get rid of this as well. Yo, if that crit the first time... Woo! Alright, this was the, like the one Mon I was super worried about losing to. The other Mon I'm super worried about losing to is Monkey Dory. Look at that little stance right there, bro. It looks like a doll. You guys got to start moving. I'm going to be honest. I'm glad they got some of these guys moving, but they, they really got to get some of these guys moving. You know what I'm saying? They got to get them moving. They can victory dance all they want. I'm pretty sure now with the burn, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm doing too much. Right, so they're going to CC me here. Terra fight CC. Yeah, I knew they CC. Yo, that does so much damage. Should be okay, though. Oh, my God. That did way more. What the hell? What the hell just happened? All right, I guess Garg is winning this game. He says as he needs to Terra in front of it. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just take the I'll just take the roll. I didn't want to do this because I want this Mon for Salamence, but at the end of the day, I should be okay versus Salamence because I have a Garg. Um, I do actually. I think they already Terra, right? I think I win this game with Garchomp. Do 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 do. Is it Garchomp? <sighs> no. It's Garganachi. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure if they had low kick, uh, which is why I tear it there. And it also lets me beat Salamence later. This mon's annoying. Okay, okay, okay. It got less annoying. This could have been a lot worse. I'm going to go down right here. Man the buzz. Okay, it, it kind of is worse. I can't tell. Okay, U turn. Surely Garchomp does something here. Oh, thank you. Land. Hey, 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 all right. So, I mean, I didn't know why I did this, honestly, because I am faster than Mens already. <laughs> I'm already faster than Mens, but I might as well. I actually am in danger of losing to Volcanion, funnily enough. Which is like really, really funny. Loaded. Ooh, that's a guaranteed kill now because of loaded dice. Let's go, baby. Shout out to Garchomp. Getting up a nice little 
Nice little KO, now if they're even flame charged, we're chilling too. Look at Garchomp, alright, picking up some more KO. Picking up some KOs in that one, let's get it. Alright, we're gonna get into the game. My opponent has a crazy team, man. They got the Torterra, hopefully, hopefully Mana Buzz will be enough for that. We're gonna leave Rotom, just because it's good into like, four out of, or three out of six of their leads. And I always had a Mana Buzz as a switch in for this, if they want to end up going for Spore, they could go for Bullet Seed. I'm really worried about them being Sash, like Sash spam with this team. Very good double on the opponent's part, man. I like that a lot. My Heatran actually beats nothing on their team, so I'm going out to it on Lava Plume. I should live in Earth Power, and I should be able to get Rocks, which I want for Sashes. I don't think Hydreigon has Defog anymore. It definitely don't got Roost. If it can't Roost, it can't Defog, right? They can't give it one of the other. It, get it, it gotta have both. Well, I guess technically Mens can Roost. But Mens is a flying type, all right? That's... It needs to land. Hydreigon, that, you got an ability that lets you levitate, bro. Don't worry about that. Anyway, we're gonna get Brocks, and then we'll taunt if they end up going Azu, which is definitely one of the bigger threats, right? Azu is definitely a giant threat. But with Rocks up, I actually feel like Garchomp. I want to see if Garchomp picks up a KO on um, if Garchomp picks up the KO on Breloom. All right, Scale Shot. That's, that's not. That's why doesn't it automatically put it at four when you have that? Because four is the minimum, right? So like five. Nice. We're gonna taunt you because you will six on me otherwise. And then, I guess we'll go Rotom here. Just gonna Volt. They go Torterra. I will go hard into Mandibuzz. Yeah. This is nice. Alright, so. This is working out real good. Especially now because I can just Scarf U-Turn. and bring out the Heatran that I talked about being pretty useless. And then we, we got a lot of information about their team too. We got, we're gonna get a Stealth Rock switching on Ozzy. We know it might not be the max. Like, some Belly Drum sets are max HP, but some might not be. And that'll be the difference between... Hello? Alright, water move my guy. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told him to. I knew we knew it was happening. I knew it was happening. You knew it was happening. I just wanted it to happen at that point. Um This is very funny. Anyway, we're brave bird here. <laughs> just because we don't want Ozzy belly drumming up for free. We are good versus Ozzy though. We have uh Rotom. It's not max speed though, but hopefully they're not jolly. We're kind of just like 252, 252 on most of these mods. But we got her. I knew a Hydro Pump was coming, right? I knew a Water Move was coming. I was like, that's why I said, all right, Water Move me. Sorry. You're a threat. Can't let you belly drum for free. If I am, you're going to be at 1 HP. Fine by me. Earthquake does manage to pick up the KO here. Yep. I wasn't even gonna look at that crap. I knew you were gonna pick up that KO. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Cause we'll live this. They're not gonna earthquake me, right? They they would basically well I did not expect that. But I knew they wouldn't earthquake me basically. So we get rid of Mammal Slot. Look at Garchomp getting his nice little KOs. Let's go. Torterra comes out. Do I have to scale shot to not lose to this? If it's Rock Blast, I don't think Rock Blast kills Manda Buzz even with five hits. Because I want to scale shot into Fire Fang. I'm going to do it. I'm going to scale shot into Fire Fang. Because I, I want them to try and Shell Smash on me. That's what I would do if I were them. I'd try and Shell Smash on me. Yes, sir. Yum. Going to miss Fire Fang now? Miss Fire Fang for the one time? Fire fan miss for the one time? Oh, look at you landing. Torterra, always revenge killed. Look at you, Garchomp. Look at you go. Heatran? Oh, sorry, buddy. You already terrored. <laughs> you already terrored with this team. You ain't going to become anything else. Look at little Garchomp again. Nice little sweet. Finally, some sweet bitch from Garchomp, which is what I was going for. Like, I always gonna, was going to terror fire in front of Mamoswine. Uh, I did expect Ice School Crash or something, which I think would have been better because I still think Crash into Ice Shard into Mock Punch. Actually, it might not have KO'd Garchomp. But I would have been forced to scale shot at a point, so it would have after a defense drop. Mach 1 would have KO'd after defense drop, at least, right? We never knew Braylon's item anyway. They never picked the move. Um, I don't think they were Sash on that team. They could have been Orb, which I think definitely. Like, if Maelstrom was Orb and Braylon was Orb, and then, like, Crash into Ice Shard into Mach 1, maybe, maybe. Maybe Garchomp just bulky enough to live that. I don't know. I don't know. I love Garchomp, though. Like, that is one of the best. That is the best pseudo legendary Pokemon of all time, in my opinion. But, uh,. Yeah, it's just crazy that it fell down. But yeah, we'll be right back. We got a scary team. I think Rain is super strong 
Um, I do like Garg a lot in this matchup, like a lot, a lot. They don't have like a Ludicolo. They do have Kilowatcher, which is pretty strong too, but I absolutely love that. Um, big fan of Zap though, so I'm actually leading off with it just because it puts in a ton of work versus their team. And um, yeah, it can just do a lot, basically. I will U-turn first though, and they give me Don Fan Sturdy, which is exactly what we want. And we want to be in a position where this month's in, because we could, we could lose our item here, right? We could lose our item here to knock off. But if we burn Don Fan, is that game? That's a wild play, by the way. Now I just hydro pump and kill you. Okay, now I just hydro pump and KO whatever else comes in. Yeah, nice. All right, now their entire team loses the Rotom. So I don't know why they made those series of plays, but they did. Um, Torn comes out. Torn does not KO me with anything. I guess like a hurricane for some chip. Yeah, Kilowattro being gone is phenomenal. They do Terra Fight. Nasty plot, though. Um, unfortunately for them, they've made themselves weak to Brave Bird. <laughs> yeah, you can't make those plays with, like, Pelipers and stuff, man. You can't be doing that. You really can't. I don't need Heatran in this game at all. I already said I don't need Heatran, so you can kill this mon. Perfect. Foul play does a ton to you. Volt. And then I'll Hydro Pump. And then, <laughs> then Rain ends. So I'm not sure what they're doing here. You know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, okay, cool. They didn't really go, I don't, I don't think they have knockoff. I think they're a Rapids and Earthquake. Uh, so that's great. Rain is gone. It's funny because I don't want to kill something with Rotom because I want to be in with this Pokemon, but that's not going to be the case here. Uh, Garchomp is expendable. They do miss Focus Blast. That is Focus Blast for you. And what I can do is actually KO Pelipper here with Scale Shot. Wait. Yeah, it does. Oh, I was hoping to get an 8 roll. That way I get the other one as well. But Pelipper's gone. And then we get a Brave Bird everything. And I would say Garg is the useless one. Yeah. Garg definitely useless. Because I just go U and just click Vol Switch. That should be a kill. If they go torn, I just Brave Bird. If they stay in, perfect. Gotta go you. Because if they set up with Crawdon, I'm screwed. If they set up with Crawdon, I'm screwed. I think I still die to their attack, but I gotta get the damage off on them. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait. Couldn't have asked for a better turn there. Yeah, couldn't have asked for a better turn there. We just go Mana Buzz, because Barry Bird kills. Barry Bird kills always. And unfortunately, Torn doesn't really have a way of doing anything after. So that should be game. Unless it as substitute here. Weather ball made sense. And then we Brave Bird there. That could have been a little bit scary. Definitely got a little bit lucky, I think, with that, that crit on the Mon. But 70, they would have taken three turns of recoil. Eh, three Mons. They would have taken one, two, three, three turns of life or recoil. Probably died. And then, I mean, I'm going to assume just Brave Bird from 349 attack would have KO'd that Mon as well. I think it would have KO'd Torn from full. I mean, that's offensive Torn, right? Why am I calculating that? It's... I'm... Uh, I guess just from my head calc, my head cannon, uh, Tornadus. Yeah, it already ki almost kills like without it tearing, so it's, it's super effective now. Oh, nasty team from the opponent. Nasty team. Damn. That's a fire team. I like that. I look really weak to Garg, though. I'm so weak to this damn Verizion. It's crazy. We're just going to Hydro here. I'm so weak to Verizion, it's insane. It's not Verizion, but you know which one I'm talking about. But I'm very weak to it. <laughs> I'm very, very, very weak to it. Yeah, leaves. If they Terra Fight CC, that's fine. If they don't Terra Fight, then they die here to foul play. So that's a lot better, I guess. I'm going to defog in front of Azu. 
worst comes to worst. Sarah Ledge comes out. Okay. What are you doing? I'm just gonna tear on the bitter blade. Oh god, they got me! Wait a second. Did I just lose? If they have CC, I just lost. Oh my god. They got me. Mmm. I still probably lost here. And then they poltergeist. Alright, yeah. Um, I didn't think they'd uh, poltergeist that turn. I guess they expected me to Terra or switch. Terra on the bitter blade, so they wanted to catch my Rotom. That was a goat play. Well played. I got myself, honestly, though. I really did got myself. Alright, Rotom still eats, but I kind of just threw away everything I needed to win, I think. Do that. GG. I'll take my L here. I misplayed that hard. I guess I shouldn't have terrestrialized in front of Amanda, but uh, in front of that mod. Honestly, though, yeah, it makes sense. Because Garg, I could have just teared and always eat a hit no matter what. So that was my fault. Ooh, this looks like <laughs> they're playing with that Gen 5. Oh, I like that Gen 5 OU on that team. Hopefully, we can beat them with uh, Garchomp. That'd be cool. Rotom v Rotom. Both of, you, both of us need to lead off of Rotom. That's how you play Gen 5. Lead off of Rotom. And we both click will o -Wisp, we shake hands, and we go from there. Yeah, I played that last game bad. So they got their revenge, which is unfortunate, because I want to take all their points. Uh, but we will here. So I don't know, are we both going to go Heatran? It's interesting, because like both Rotoms are really good, but my Rotom is arguably less good into their team, because of the fact that they have Amoongus. But at the same time, I have two great Amoongus switchins. Ah, we really are playing Gen 5, I like this. I'm a bolt. Lose this beat tie. Lose this beat tie. Lose this beat tie. Come on, lose this beat tie. What you doing? You better lose the tie. Dude, I really want Wisp on this heat trend. I think Draft Lee just makes me want to run Wisp more and more and more. Cool. Alright, instead of getting up rocks, I'm gonna click Magma Storm here because if they want to stay in, then I will gladly take the one mile on their team that is annoying to Garg. Good play. Switch it. Alright, we get some little chip on Titar too. Oh, am I gonna do it to them because I don't care? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it to them because I don't care. I'm going for the Garchomp endgame anyway. I'm going for that Garchomp endgame, baby. I'm going for that Garchomp endgame. It's really good damage on Titar too. That was real good damage on T-Tar. That looks banded, by the way. 66% is insane. Also, good switchings, team. <laughs> good switchings to CC, team. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, they don't really got good switchings here. I mean, that was a good switch by the opponent. But is that a good switching? To Gapdos? No. Also, do they beat Garg? I do not know. That also took 24. Is that more Spadef than Fizdef? That, that did nothing. Amoongus. Oh, you spore. Oh, that's just standard dot. They expected me to U-turn, obviously. Which is why they went this Pokemon. They might. Let's see if what they have. Alright. It's all cure time. Because you're a guard. And you just eat every hit from everything in the world. <laughs> No, it was Scarf! Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, yeah, it's fine. That sucks, because... I mean, that's great to get rid of, but that sucks as well at the same time. That sucks. Damn, man. Now I have to depend on thinking. <laughs> I can see them Hydro Pump in here. Damn, that really sucks. Oh, that sucks. No. I didn't think it would be Scarf on this team. But then again, I was talking about a, a gen, a generation five. And I mean, while defensive Rotom is the best, there were definitely times where people did use Scarf. Gen six as well. I could see them uh, sacking themselves here. 
Wait, they have knockoff on Tito, right? I'm I'm not I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm going to Rotom. I'm definitely not dead yet. And his boots scissor too. Oh, the defog. Do you want if you defog now, you might just lose the game to Garchomp. <laughs> I think they're gonna lose the game. I don't know. I don't think rocks are that important into your team that that they're necessary to win, you know? But to each their own. They keep doubling on what could be mana buzz and stuff. Let me see if I can just get a... It's not free, but let me see if I can get a burn. They're going to do a lot of damage to me, don't get me wrong. And Rotom's really good into their team. But they really just keep doubling here. What I'm hoping happens is they double into like a, a random... Yeah, exactly. Like, What I want is something like this happening. Where I get residual damage on Amoongus. Plus they got sand and everything going on too. I got this guy too, right? Okay, they could sludge. They know I could bird bird though. I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn. Like you know I, I could bird bird you, so you should go out into Heatran here. Thing is they still have Terra as well. Yes. Can go for SD. If they have Willow, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure what else they would do at this position, right? Because they do have Rotom that they can sack, they have Scizor as well. This is like the Mon I want to SD up in front of. If they tear a bug, I can scale shot after. Right, it's just flash cannon, thankfully. I think I tear a fire here. So that way I take less from their hits. I can't fire fang them because they still have flash fire. I think I tear a fire here and skill shot. Oh my god, if that gets five, it actually kills is insane. I know it's gonna get four, but that's insane how much that did. Perfect. So we scale shot again, pick up our KO. I don't even think Scizor kills me. And Scizor definitely dies to plus two Earthquake. So there's a shot we just win right here with Garchomp. In a world where Garchomp is a good Pokemon. They get their sand chip on me. Very, very smart. So they can go out into Scizor after and hit me. However, this mon naturally beats everything on their team. So... Also, Brave Bird is good as hell. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep, I just vault here. They go Amoongus, I get to start clicking Brave Bird. Stuff, Mana Buzz healthy as well. This should be game. Because of, uh, of the Garchomp. Okay. We actually bring out you. That way they can't go hard into Garchomp on me. I guess they could technically, but I'll get my chip on it. Like, nothing on this team wants to take a Brave Bird now. Sorry, the sand actually makes you die to Brave Bird. We already have this calc 86. So, I'll be clicking Brave Bird here. If you want to give me a Mungus, that's amazing. It's very annoying. Can't actually kill it with anything besides this. So, I'll take this KO. If you want to give me Scizor, I'll take that too. Perfect. Thank you for the Amoongus. Did a lot of recoil though. I will admit, you did a lot of recoil there. Look at Rotom and look at the rest of this team though. Goatmon. I wonder if this is Terra Blast on Heatran. Also, Foul Play smokes their team now, too. Not that it didn't before. There's Hydro here for the chip. Also, U turn for Mana Plus picks up a KO, too. It's really funny. Oh, land! Uh, fire move, annoying. Do we want Garg setting up on this? Do I want to get Terra Grassed? Oh, I don't know how much that matters, actually. I think I just body press for the KO here. Is 
because I have Defog if I need to, but I think I think Rotom's gonna beat these last two because that's gonna do a lot. I'm gonna assume Foul Play picks up the KO versus Garchomp. Also, what if Garchomp just spikes and not SD scale shot? Cool. I don't need this mod no more. All they did was give me a free body press on something. Uh, I'll take it. Actually, this is great if they go Garchomp because I take rough skin so I die while getting damage on them. That's amazing. So if they're going to SD, they could do it anyway. So I die. The speed boost doesn't matter because it's already faster than my team. 22. Life Orb. I have no idea what Life Orb Garchomp means. But I'm clicking Foul Play here. I literally have no idea what Life Orb Garchomp means. Okay, it means it's a 16. It looks like it's, it's like I burnt it. It looks like I burnt it. Doesn't it look like... Doesn't it feel like I burnt that mon? Like, legit feels like I burnt that mon, right? Are you Iron Head Earthquake Scale Shot? Oh, no. It's mixed. Wait, I can get a Defog off. Hell yeah, let's do this right now. That rounded up. I swear if this dies from 11% that it shows me right here, I'll be real mad. Don't you dare die. Yeah! My mons are back! Because I can just go uh, Garchomp. Because Garchomp won't die to Scizor and it wins. Alright, I mean, that didn't matter. Now it's alive, I guess. But it doesn't... It can't... Like, I want them to KO me, so I Garchomp them at the end. Terrify Garchomp's fire. You don't have Roost. Sorry, bud. All you're doing is taking damage. Why are they load up? They really just loaded up Gen 5 OU. But then again, they have knockoff T-Tar. Goodbye, Scizor. You deserve a good rest. You turn on you. Alright. I KO the guard chomp. And then we, we land another scale shot because that's what we do out here. We land another scale shot. And then win the game, we're Chomper. But that was a fun live. So, I mean, we obviously got to see Garchomp do a few things throughout. We saw Garchomp versus us that did not do crap at all. Garg is really good, and I do not imagine that Pokemon will stay UU uh, because I do think it will go up to OU eventually anyway, but I also think that UU will end up banning it because damn, Garg is good. A lot of good play styles down here. T's going to be on my website, Pokemon.com, if you guys didn't enjoy. Thank you, HT, for the squad. Appreciate everybody for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on these uh, UU tier shifts. I did a video yesterday. Check that out. Also, I started uh, my my draft. So go and check out my uh, my team analysis that I uploaded the other day. It's very highly edited, and it is, uh, it is a good video. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.